Hello, this is Terakai using Pending's model to bring you a quick review of The Umbrella Academy. The Umbrella Academy is a Netflix series with a first season that runs for 10 episodes, and as you might expect from a Netflix series, the episodes are so tightly tied together that there's barely a distinction from when one episode ends and the next begins. That tends to be the strength of Netflix series. They tell one big story that you'll want to binge through as opposed to watching one episode and then saving the rest for later. In this case, the story they're trying to tell is one of seven orphans who are raised to be crime fighters by an adopted father who hoped to identify and develop superpowers within them. They're now grown up with deep emotional scars from their past, largely as a result of the difficult and cold nature of their adopted father. Their dad was a man that largely treated them like tools going so far as to refer to them by numbers rather than names, and sought to heavily control their activities at all times. With them now grown up, they have gone their separate ways, only to be reunited by the death of their father. Of course, this being a superhero show, you can bet that high stakes action is ahead. However, that high stakes action, while interesting in its own right when it's done, is not really the appeal of the show. In fact, if I were to claim that The Umbrella Academy is an action show, I would largely be misleading you. While there's certainly some action to be had, the focus and strength of the show lies with its ensemble cast. Using superhero movies as a comparison, oftentimes when there's character dialogue, it's to push them towards the next big action set piece and provide some context as well as a bit of character development when it can be squeezed in. By contrast, The Umbrella Academy is all about those quiet moments of personal exploration and the relationships with each other to the point where the action feels more like sprinkled in breaks from those moments rather than the other way around. It's impressive how well that works in the Umbrella Academy, especially given its rather large ensemble cast. Each one of the former Umbrella Academy students has his or her own arc and moments to shine. Even some of the side characters are well fleshed out. It's true that not every member of the main cast gets completely equal time, but the attention is spread out far better than I would have thought. That attention to developing compelling characters with interesting individual arcs, struggles, and motivations is essential in this case because the plot without it is somewhat debatable. The plot itself isn't bad, but often I found myself more interested in what each development meant for the characters involved rather than what it meant for the grand scheme of the narrative. Additionally, whenever I encountered a moment I didn't like, it was usually because there was a plot point that didn't make sense to me or felt contrived, rather than it being a problem with a character specifically. Something I think a lot of people will also appreciate is the lighter and comedic moments in what is a fairly dark premise. If we view Marvel as often being the bright and colorful film franchise, while DC is the dark and gritty one, and I admit that those generalizations don't always fit, but if you do accept that premise, then you can look at The Umbrella Academy as a show that tries to strike a middle ground between them. If I were to warn you about anything though, it's that The Umbrella Academy gets off to a shaky start. The first 15 minutes or so can be confusing, largely because the show has the daunting task of introducing so many characters at once. Odds are though, if you're still watching the show by the second episode, you become invested enough in those characters to want to see them through to the conclusion of the first season. If you like superhero stories that tend to focus more on the characters than big action set pieces, then this is a show that you should check out. If you like sci-fi slash fantasy that goes to serious places without feeling the need to be constantly dark and gritty, then this might be your cup of tea too.